It's not the greatest in the way the world is at the moment. However, it's how you take everything, people take things personally. It's, it's how you export it now. I, you know, I just want to say thank you, and I know a lot of it's inflection, but I think it's, everything out there is for a branch to be humble and just smile and carry on. Absolutely. So these are the requirements of our day-to-day -day living, our interaction with people. However, we've still got to understand, like I said, what, what is it all about? Is there a purpose for your existence or is it purposeless? So what we say is that you've got to recognize a creator. You've got to devote yourself to the creator. So we're Muslims, we pray five times a day, as you're probably aware, because you're yeah, friend. Yeah. And we do that for a reason. It's not just because we feel good or there's a spiritual, spirituality, no. It's because intrinsically within each and every one of us, there is an inclination towards God. How, and I, I challenge anyone who's ever lived who's of sound mind and who's got reached a certain age that you've never thought about God in your whole life for even a few moments. That's, I don't think that's possible. I don't think there's anyone who's ever lived. I think it's sad that people only use it to their desperation. When something bad's happening, you hear something that, oh, people in all stuff is terrible. There's no sacrifice and you don't make no sacrifice. I respect Eid and fasting because there's proper no. Yeah, goodness, isn't it? Yeah. But what, what, what? I mean, that's that's good. These are all like supplementary actions. But what we say, reflect on who your creator is. So in the Islamic paradigm, on the Muslim paradigm, God is not like His creation. God is beyond the creation. There is nothing like Almighty God. Neither can you give Him an image, or neither does He encompass by the universe. He's beyond the universe. Now that makes sense, you see, because something which is ec external and in eternal, that is the very being that we worship and that is what we're certain of, that we will be recreated one day, we'll be accountable for our actions, what we've done on this earth, and then God will judge us accordingly in the hereafter. So this is what we invite people to reflect deeply upon these points, because these are all brutal facts of life. Now obviously you're here Saturday afternoon in Stratford, that's probably Probably, I mean, I don't want to assume anything, but one of the last things in your mind when you're gonna, you know, when we're all gonna go. But it's something for us to consider, you see, deeply. And sometimes we just we can speak to someone, and these will be time for reflection and thinking, okay, what's it all about? Is it is is this it? Go to work, come home, go on holiday once a year or whatever, and that's it. And then have kids, grow old, and then die, and that's it. There must be more. There must surely there must be more. And so what we say, therefore, we've got to recognize our Creator. So what we do as Muslims, we don't associate anything within creation like God. We don't say God's a bloke, He's not a woman, He's not an idol, He's not a statue, He's a being who's supreme. Incomprehensible in the sense of, we can't give it an image. Does that resonate with you? That's the Islamic paradigm. And then what we say, God sends messengers, you'll be familiar with a few, I guess. Jesus, Moses, Abraham, these are all people that we accept, were sent to their communities, inviting their transgressing communities to worshiping God alone. If you think that makes sense, then what we say, the final messenger is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. God's final messenger. But he too was only a messenger, only a man as well. So he came with a guidance on how we should live, what is our relationship with our Creator, to recognize your Creator, to do as that Creator has commanded for us. If it makes no sense, we are created purposelessly. Surely there is a deeper meaning to our existence, surely. Yeah. I don't know, see, I've battled a lot because it's weird. Some people in London, born and bred. My mum and father, I was raised in a different way, but I was totally the opposite. My partner, my children, don't go Indian, and um, I don't have religion. It's crosses my father's, which is passed to me. But I do get judged because it's a cross, but I'm actually here to stay to pass it to my brother. Gives him some sort of peace. And, yeah, I understand, you know, yeah. And I've got, um, but I don't know, it's hard. I've been confined. You have to go through the hard time. I don't know. I just don't know yet. Yeah. No, I mean, it's like I said, life is about test, it's going to be difficult sometimes, there's going to be ease. You know, this is the, this is the nature of life, where we're tested in every single way. Yeah. So what we, again, finally, what we re really request people to reflect on deeply is why Islam makes sense. Islam makes sense and it's a, a religion which is spreading very much exponentially amongst the populace as well. We've got people from different backgrounds on this table who have converted to the faith because my daughter has, she's in Egypt. Oh wow, she's your daughter? Egypt, oh. oh wow. And I what? started to study the Quran, well, like lessons. But okay, Martha, do you have a copy of the Quran? No, my sister, sister in law does, 
Well, it's your lucky day being given away thousands here today, so you're welcome, very welcome to take a copy. Other, I literally just came from Ipswich. I thought I'm going to have to go down here, but my son's been worried because there's a lot of problems there, Mum. I said, I've got to meet my brother to give yeah. him the necklace. Well, there's no problems. Everything's, everything's cushy yeah, here. Everything's very, very nice. You go around, there's no... It's very much, cosm as you can see, it's very cosmopolitan. So, yeah, please, I mean, don't feel intimidated in oh, any no, way. I've got to come back, but if you're still here... Yeah, I'll, um, I'll give you, I mean, we've got the Qurans in the bag. See that little carrier bag? Oh, that, yeah. We can give you one, you can bank, put it in your bag if you so like, have a little read of it. Or if you want, you can take it oh, later. That's fine. OK, nice speaking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, a nice brief conversation with a very pleasant lady. May Allah guide us, inshallah, ta'ala, and her. Let's hope she comes back. Um, so, what, I mean, what's this life all about? So we speak about these things on a continuous basis. We've got to recognize our Creator, who is unlike His creation. God is not a man, He's not a woman, He's not an idol, He's not to stay. The same things you hear repetitively, perhaps even me, you hear on a repetitive basis. But it's something for us to consider deeply, because this life is very temporary, we've got no guarantees. And if we can persist in our thinking that we can inculcate faith, later on in our lives, well that's sad because that's, there's no guarantee of that. We're inviting you people as well to bring or inculcate your faith. If you're Muslims, to practice your faith more, to become very good examples, role models to the society so they can be attracted to Islam and the general populace will get, you know, they'll, re they'll realize that all this nonsense which is spoken about the faith is absolutely has no credence to it whatsoever. So we're encouraging, you know, this, um, you know, exemplification of um, uh, of, of, of the religion and for non-Muslims, we, we invite you to investigate Islam. It's the truth. You know, belief in God makes total sense. A universe by nothing, from nothing, no sense. And I hope these words of encouragement will, uh, inshallah, give us all food for thought and the opportunity to consider these points in, 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 in substance. And, um, you know, Saturday's been raining most of the day. The, the sky has cleared up now, alhamdulillah, the sun, sun should so, soon come out and inshallah uh, the weather is going to be very nice now over the next 10 to 12 days according to the weather forecast. So the dawah did not even stop today even though it was raining but Allah made it easy, it was only a little quick uh, burst of shower but now we're back in. Alhamdulillah make dua that you know we have a successful uh, time and that eventually inshallah more and more people will come to the table. Nice conversation with that lady, they need to reflect inshallah. And obviously, your, the, the prayer for the Muslims in particular, essential. You must continue on your prayers. It's incumbent upon us. This is the instruction of our Creator. If you go home today you, and you miss your one meal, your evening meal, you're going to feel it. So the soul creates create for the Creator as well. For Allah So these are beneficial reminders for us all that one day, like I said, we're all going to perish and we need to be persistent upon that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.